Quilters. Welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us on a Wednesday afternoon. Emily's here today. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. Thanks, Pam. How are you? I am doing well. Did you like our show yesterday? Oh my gosh, dare I say you rocked the purple hair. Oh, I did. And you know what? This morning, as I Joyce was doing my hair this morning, uh, there is much pink still left in there. So <laughs> it's kind of, I'm channeling my inner inner Emily. You are. We're, we're meshing vibes today. We are. I love it. We are. We are. <laughs> did you have a good week? It was great. It was great. Um, I made some homemade falafel over the weekend. We scarfed them up. It was love oh, it. so good. A little bit homemade tzatziki on the side. I'll need to be eating lunch at Emily's house. <laughs> All right, where is everyone watching from today? Michelle is watching from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Hey, Michelle, how are you? And Noreen is watching from California. And Steve and Norma are watching from San Marcos. All over the place this day. Someone was washing fabric this morning, Noreen. Yeah. Is that who was washing fabric? Noreen's, yeah, she's multitasking queen over here. Look at you, look <laughs> at you. Okay, quilters, cool, today we are, it's just all about the new Go Schoolhouse to Die. Go Schoolhouse Die, there we go. So here is the photo of the day. So when I was in college, I studied history. Um, I wanted to be an attorney. And um, so history is kind of my jam. I did really well in school, but mostly I just really liked history. So, Emily, what was your favorite subject in school? Oh gosh, I was a history major too, Pam, yeah. but I loved my British literature teacher in high school. He was, he just made it so much fun, so much fun. Not fun? Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> I, I know you'll find this hard to believe, but I did like drama classes in no. high school and college. <laughs> I, know, I knew you'd find that hard to believe. Okay, so the question of the day is, quilters, what was your favorite subject in school? Put it in the comments section. Emily's going to read it out to see. It'll be interesting to see what people's favorite subject was. Absolutely. All right, so uh, don't forget, yesterday we launched two new dyes. We launched the Go Weather Vane and the Go uh, Feather Star. They're available right now on our website. And don't forget to pick up the Go Schoolhouse dye. We're going to use it today um, It is our September dye to try, so we have limited stock. So today we're offering that limited bundle that includes the schoolhouse dye, the one and a half inch strip dye, the three and a half inch strip dye, a 10 by 24 cutting mat, um, for $249.99, that saves you $112, plus we'll ship it free. And Emily, you can buy that schoolhouse die separately, right? Yes, you can for $89.99. $89.99, so throw one in your cart. It's really fun. All right, so we have such a great promo for you today. So the promo is 25% off your order. Um, some exclusions... Uh, do apply, but mostly 25% off your order. Now, already on our website, we have some dies, cubes, and bundles that are marked down. So if you take the 25% off and add it to that markdown, you can save up to 40%, right? Is that right, Emily? You sure can. Of some of our product, okay? You want to use the code MY25, MY25. And our Go Big is back in stock. And Emily, it is included in our offer today. How much is our Go Big? It is, and it's $175 off, which brings that price down to $524.99. And we'll ship it to you free. We sure will. So if you've been waiting for that Go Big, today is the day to get one. Mm -hmm. All right, quilters, today I'm going to give away one of our new Go School house dies. Be sure and share this video on your personal Facebook page for the chance to win. Emily is going to announce the winner at the end of our show, okay? All right, quilters, today we're taking everyone back to school, back before there was remote learning, the internet, Wi-Fi, even before school buses and carpools. Today is all about the Go Schoolhouse Die. Did you know Emily's been around since the 1800s? The block has been around it. It's oh just gosh. been amazing. How cool. I heard it was something to, it was like honoring the teachers and things because that was what women, one of the biggest professions of women at the time yeah. was teaching. Right? There you go. There you go. <laughs> So I'm going to lift, lift it up and show it to you. So our newest block on board, or Bob die as we like to call them, is on a 10 by 24 die board here. I'm going to move all my stuff out of the way so you can see. There we go. Oh, look, a pink cushion just for Erica. Um, it's on a 10 by 24 die board. A Bob die means that it's a block on board, so all the pieces that you need, here we go, there we go, um, to complete an entire 9-inch block are on the die board. Okay, which is great. 
And since it's on a 10 by 24 die board, it will fit through your go, your go big, and even your studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. You wanna make sure you're using a 10 by 24 cutting mount, which is the appropriate size, okay? Now, not only does this die make the schoolhouse block, but it has six different sizes of rectangles that can be used in other blocks. So you can make your blocks all the same, like we did here in our little red schoolhouse. Here, let me show you the block. And the quilt is right behind me, isn't that fun? Yeah, so here's that cute little block. Or you can think outside the box and use this die as the ultimate stash buster, all right? Either way, you could use our free Go Quilt program, which is available at AccuQuilt.com. This quilting tool allows you to change the colorway of thousands of AccuQuilt patterns. There's a tutorial, so be sure and check it out. Emily, what do they need to do to get, is there, um, oh, they can sign up to get an account, is there a fee? Nope, there sure isn't. No, it's free. Sign up for free, yeah. Yeah, and then you can get Go Quilt. I was using Go Quilt this morning just right before our show. Love that. I love it. Okay, um, join us for our next event on Tuesday, September 21st at 12 noon Central Time as we relaunch the Go Sports Medley die. Use the link below to register for the event. Emily, why do they want to register? Well, they can be entered to win all of our fun prizes, all of the fabric dies, all the things. All the things. It's going to be fun. All right, so quilters, here's my big pro tip. Before you start your project, I always recommend cutting and sewing a test block. Uh, this was our test block and it came together perfectly, okay? That way you can see how the pieces go together, uh, learn how to press your seams, all right? So let's talk about the shapes on this die and how to lay out your fabric, okay? And I have such red and white fabric here, I'm so excited. Okay, so for, for this block, you're gonna need both red and white, all right? So these shapes up here need white, these shapes need red, and these shapes need white and red. I know you have to kind of think about what we're doing here, okay? So we wanna make sure the lengthwise green is traveling back and forth across um, the die so it's parallel to these lengthwise blades. Uh, we have a label here and I always tell you to label at your belly lengthwise green, okay? So I'm gonna lay out some fabric. All right, so I'm just gonna cover these shapes here and I am going to lay out. Oh, see, this is, I get all stressed when I'm doing this. Okay, so hold on here. We need some of these shape I, or these shape C's. So I'm gonna put it right there. I have some already cut out, which is kind of fun. Tim, while you're doing that, we do have a couple folks. Uh, Tiffany looks like she actually loved English and history as well. So we've got a fellow English history, history lover. See, there we go. All right, what did everybody else love while I'm laying out the fabric? Yeah, so Julie uh, says she played band, it was in the band, she played flute and the piccolo. There you go. Beverly also loved music. Oh, there you go. Um, ooh, Kate says she majored in jewelry design in college and absolutely oh, loved Kate. it. Oh, Kate, that sounds awesome, actually. I love that. I bet that was a fun major. I bet that was. Oh my gosh. I love it. All right, so quilters, I've laid out some fabric. I have some pieces already cut for us here. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to sew this block together. All right, so here's the thing you need to remember. This shape right here, this is what we call a directional shape. You want all your fabric facing up. Now I'm using solids, so it's not gonna matter, but these two shapes are also directional. If you fan fold back and forth, um, it's gonna be backwards and you're gonna be cranky about that, okay? So just make sure you follow the pattern and the pattern that is on the packaging is the quilt that hangs behind us, okay? All right, so I'm gonna put my cutting mat on top. Emily, what happens if you try to use our dies without a mat? Um, unfortunately, not a darn thing. Yeah, not a darn thing. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna use my mat. And quilters ask me all the time, why is AccuQuilt better than rotary cutting? Okay, quilters, I can't even imagine. Sorry, here we go. 
It doesn't like it when you just try to push the die through. Um, I can imagine trying to cut these shapes with a template or with a rotary cutter. The thing about templates, right, is that every time you use them, you're trimming them down a little bit and trimming them down and trimming them down. AccuQuilt is perfect. It's gonna cut perfect shapes every single time. Absolutely. Okay. All right, so we're gonna give it a little love. We're gonna slide our mat, don't lift. It is a beautiful day here in Omaha, Nebraska. Sure. There is not much humidity out there in the world. So that's kind of fun. Ooh, Pam, we have a fun comment from Joanna. Hi, Joanna. Her grandmother taught, high, taught school in a one-room schoolhouse, and mom substitute taught in several of them in Vermont. She really enjoyed history. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine how fun that would be? So cool. So this block would be perfect for her. Yeah, you should make it for a gift, mm -hmm. okay? All right. So here we go. All right. Now, a couple of things to notice about this. Look at how we have cut off the dog ears. We have specialized dog ears. So from this point here to this point here is that perfect quarter inch seam. AccuQuilt's gonna be perfect every single time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't forget today our, or our promo is 25% off your order. Um, if you use uh, order some of our Markdown dies, cubes and bundles, you can save up to 40%, right? You wanna use that code MY25. Mm -hmm. All right. So now let's sew some of these pieces together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually lay out some of the block so that you can see it. And we're gonna do a little chain piecing because I do love a good chain piece. <laughs> All right, oh, here's my top. All right, so first we're gonna start here with um, this little window section. Okay, so the window section needs a white, and two reds, just like that, right? And these are all shape C, okay? And then what we're gonna do is when we sew them together, that quarter inch seam is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna start by sewing this window section together. And you can press your seams open. Um, I have a tendency to kind of press them to the dark side. They lay a little flat there. And I've already taken off my shoes. Emily, when you learn how to quilt, it'll be interesting to see if you learn to sew with your shoes on or off. Because I have to have my feet barefoot. <laughs> I'm probably a shoes off kind of gal myself. Free Are the you? feet. Free the feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited here. We're going to get Emily started on her quilting journey. She's going to work on getting her sewing machine that was your grandma's machine. Is that right? Yes. And it sat in my mom's garage for 40 years. Wow. To just collecting dust. Luckily, it was in this pristine carrying case. I happened to just ask my mom, what's this random box in your garage? Oh, it's this old sewing machine, and I've taken it out, and it works perfectly well. It's this beautiful Singer featherweight. Yeah. A little fold down. The fact um, that it is a featherweight, boy, those are those are awesome these days. And I didn't even know what what it was before watching AccuQuilt. Right. Because <laughs> we had that little um, session with the featherweight doctor. Yes, I would love to meet her someday. She seems like a cool. She cat. was fabulous. Next time she's in town, we'll do that. Absolutely. All right. So I'm going to press. I'm going to actually press towards the dark side. This is going to lay together. Now, quilters, when I do this block, when I was making my test blocks, I just chain pieced, right? You would do all of these sections together. You would sew them all together because then you can just chain piece for days. Wow. All right, so then I'm going to sew B and C to the top. So, Emily, what are people liking in school? What was their favorite subjects? Well, Cindy says she actually didn't like geometry, but now she's learning it you know, use in quilting, but AccuQuilt has luckily taken all of the math out of it. Yeah, the see, that's why Eric and I love AccuQuilt, because there is no math involved. Love that. You just lay your fabric down. Absolutely. I was not, I didn't mind math, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, but now, now if I have to do math in my head, holy smokes, that's a little hard for me. <laughs> my dad can do math in his head like a pro. Like, it's just amazing. Really? I did not get that gene. All right, so what else are people liking besides not math. Well, Jana said her favorite was home ec sewing classes. Do they even have that anymore? I guess they do. We've actually got a, a couple of folks saying, uh, BB says that she also had home ec back then and it wow. was one of her favorites. Um, I'm fascinated. I wish I had home ec. I had home ec because um, I've been around a long time. Um, it was kind of fun in um, 
middle school. So I have a brother, Brian, who's a year older than I am. And um, so we took, half the year was home ec and half the year was shop, wood shop. Oh my God. And so during home ec, he would um, preheat the oven and then I would make all the stuff. And then in wood shop, I would sand and he would make all the stuff and we got A's and it was awesome. <laughs> okay, so now it. we've completed our little section right here, okay? So now we're gonna add um, this shape right here. Um, we're gonna add one of the white shapes. So this is shape A. I've got one right here. Okay, so that's how we're gonna make this section right here. This section right here, I'm gonna show you some super cool stuff, okay? All right, so hold on here. All right. Okay. All right, so what else are people liking in school? We've got a lot of, lot of English literature folks as well. English lit, boy, that was the thing, right? It really was, oh my gosh. It was such a hard class in high school, but I absolutely loved the stories. Did you have any favorite like poets or any, any authors when you were reading literature in high school? Yeah, no, not really. Yeah. I mean, I'm a good reader, I love to read, but I, you know, English lit was not my jam. Yeah. I did love to read though. The old English was always, it, it made it harder to understand, but it made oh, yeah. it so much fun to like, you felt like you were like deciphering a code or oh, something. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, so here's my little block, right? Here's my little window block. All right, so now let's sew some of this window together. So this is the door, I guess. So we'll sew some of the window together. We're not gonna sew the whole block together. Everybody take a breath, it's okay. <laughs> All right, so the next one is we're gonna make this little block right here, okay? So to do that, um, you're gonna do the same kind of thing. So I'm just gonna sew a couple of these together, okay? So you can see, because I'm actually not gonna finish this block because I have a sample one and I'm gonna show you some other ways to put it together. And I really wanna show you how to do the roof, mm -hmm. okay? All right. All right, so I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. Um, this one we need, oh, see, this is why we lay stuff out, right? When I was making this, Emily, I dropped one of my windows off and I looked forever to find it on the floor. Oh gosh. Right, because you, know you, 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 you know you have enough and you're just like, where is that piece? Absolutely, I know, and, it's, and it probably makes it more confusing when it's well, colors. and then you go cut it, and then it's like, oh, you already had it, and it just goes on and on. Gosh. All right, don't forget to share. I'm going to give away one of our new Go Schoolhouse dies to one lucky viewer. Share it in your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Miss Emily's going to announce the winner at the end. We're excited. Okay. All right, so again, I'm just going to sew and just show you how to put these together. Oops. All right. Someone majored in drum. There I, is such a major? I guess so. That okay, is so does that weird. person play drums now? Like yeah. in life? What do you do with a drum major? I don't know. I think, I I feel think like we that's need a some joke. more feedback. Yeah, you play, they play the flute as well. So it's maybe, loudest, maybe right? you're in a band. I, I hope so. Maybe hope you were in a band. I hope you're in a band. <laughs> okay, so this section right here is this section in the beginning of it. I have one sewn, so we're gonna just put this aside for a minute, okay? So you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna add that um, A shape to the top and the bottom, and then a white A shape right there, okay? So I'm gonna pin this, because I have all these pieces at home and I can go home and make new locks. Okay, all right, so let's talk about the roof section. Now the roof section might look a little bit tricky but actually it's super easy. So we're gonna take, oh, here I have all these pieces, holy smokes. Just a minute, Erica would be proud of me for pinning. And we'll teach you how to pin when you quilt. Erica will be proud. Okay, all right, so remember I talked about how you want your fabric facing up? This is one of those um, directional shapes. And this, um, you want to make sure that when you're sewing your triangle, it is not an equilateral triangle, quilters. It's an isosceles triangle. Look at me knowing quilting, like math words. Okay? 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew these two shapes together and look how perfect this comes together because we have those perfect dog ears cut off. So from here to here is a quarter inch seam and here to here. And I'm actually gonna pin it so that I remember that that's the seam I wanna make. The other day, Emily, I was working on something and I sewed them wrong. Just yes, last night, I Aww. just sewed them to the wrong side. All right, so while I'm sewing these, Emily, were people, what is their favorite subject in school? Well, I'm learning something new, that apparently a drum major is not a major in college, but it is the person who conducts the band from That's the ladders to the fields. I didn't know that. That's what I thought. And I was like, wow. I had no idea. Yes, they, they conduct the band, the and, marching band. And Loanne says that she loved mythology. Oh my gosh, we have, I love our quilters because we have such a variety. So mythology cool. is awesome. It really is, isn't it? I wonder if it was, was it Greek mythology? Was yeah, it? Greek mythology. Oh my goodness. We know all of those at our house. Do you? Yeah, we read a little, my kids were really into Greek mythology there for a while. I always mix up the Greek and the Roman names. Ah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so quilters, see how I've done this? So now when I press this, I just want to show you to see how flat it's going to lay. It's really fun. Okay. I like the little chimney section. Okay. And again, you're going to think it's tough, but it's not. Okay. So now I'm going to sew these two pieces together. And it's important to follow the directions because if you don't, your pieces will not lay flat. All right. Here we go. And then I'm going to add that little piece on the end. So Emily, if you were making the schoolhouse block, would you make it red like the little red schoolhouse? Would you make it scrappy? What color would you make it? Oh, that's a really good question. I'm really liking the two tones. It just, it seems really, really classic to me and mm -hmm. very clean looking. Mm -hmm. I think for this particular dye, I would probably, probably stick with like a two tone, maybe yeah. like a blue or a green, maybe like a muted kind of sage, something like that. Ooh, that would be pretty. Yeah, and like a that cream or white, I don't know. <laughs> See, look at us knowing stuff. Okay, so here's that schoolhouse block right there. So the last section is this section E. So this is E and this is ER. Okay, it has nothing to do with being sick, okay? All right, so I'm gonna sew this piece to the chimney block. All right, Emily, keep reading. I'm loving all of the variety of subjects our right. culture studied. Well, and it looks like um, Marilyn says that her favorite part of school was when the bookmobile came with library books to check out. I oh, yeah. That. That's so fun. That was so much fun. When I, I was a kid, um, the, the school was right next to our house. Mm -hmm. And so I would check out like armfuls of books and haul them home. It was fun. Love that. Ooh, okay. Pam, it looks like we've got a Vicky who, who Vicky Sorensen, who's saying she wants to do a Halloween house. She okay, is on so our team. somebody in my quilting head, I thought I could do a haunted house totally. because we have a Halloween die that has. Look, I can tell you all the shapes. It has a ghost, mm -hmm. so you could have ghosts outside. How much is the Halloween die with the My 25 and Ooh, whatever discount? Let me check on that. I will tell <laughs> you. Okay. So here's the roof section. All right. And we're going to um, take it and sew it to this. Well, we're going to sew our chimney section so you can see. Okay. So look at this. And I'm going to show you a cool trick on how to make sure it all lines up together because that's what we want. Don't forget, quilters, all of our videos live on our Facebook page and our YouTube pages. So if you think to yourself, what did Pam do? How did she sew a block together? All of them live there. So you can come back and watch this one. Um, you can come back and watch Tuesday shows. Um, all of them live on our Facebook page. All right. And did you know we have a blog? Our blog is great. It's all about our go-getters and um, all of the things that we're doing in, at AccuQuilt right now. We sure do. And it's just fabulous. And Pam, that uh, Halloween medley die is going to be $36. See? And it's got the witch's hat, the ghost, a spider. It's so Oh, sweet. okay. I'm going to make one. 
We have a Halloween show coming up, right? I think we do. In just a few weeks on the Tuesday. Up. Okay, I'm gonna, that's my goal. <laughs> I'm gonna get my Halloween quilt done. Ah! I love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna build this part of the section of the block. So again, quilters just totally take chain piece. This is the best part. Love that. Okay, so, oh, I'm gonna pin it. Erica would be, oh. I just wanna go right now and make a haunted house. <laughs> so am I making my haunted houses different? Or am I making them the same quilters? Are the houses all gonna be the same or are they gonna be different Halloween fabrics? Ooh, that's a great Okay, one. mostly that's what I want you to tell me in the comment section, along with what you studied in school. So Pam, I do have another question here from Beverly as well. Hi Beverly. So she's having a little bit of trouble sewing the pieces with dog ears so she knows she's starting and stopping in the correct places. Um, can you kind of go a little bit through like how that goes together when you're piecing those dog ears? Together? Yes. So when you piece those dog ears, you're gonna see, okay, so here's one right here. Can we get a really good close shot of that, Justin? Okay, so here's the dog ears, we've cut them off. So I've sewn from the top here, I've used my quarter inch um, foot, and I've sewn right here to the bottom, okay? You wanna make sure that when you're using um, our sewing with our dies that you have a good quarter inch seam. If you're not sewing a quarter inch seam, this is not gonna work together. Okay, so that's that's the trick is make sure you're sewing that quarter inch seam. And I would tell you if I would tell you to practice sewing, you know, just take some scrap fabric mm -hmm. and cut half square triangles out or whatever shape you're think, having trouble with and just practice. And every time you do measure it and go, oh, is that a true quarter inch seam? Gotcha. It'll really help. Okay. Great advice. Great advice. So look at me just sewing shapes together. <laughs> I'm loving it. Okay. Well, Georgia says she's a children's librarian and she would love to revive the bookmobile. She's actually trying to, to do that right now in her town. That would be so fun. I love that. Okay. All right, I'm gonna sew this last little piece and then I'm gonna show you how to sew this these two pieces together. Because uh, you wanna pin it so you make sure that the roof and the chimney all come together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bookmobiles, boy, those are fun things. Now they have um, like books drives or sales or something. Yeah. I like even, Oakley has those at school. I've even seen like little neighborhood um, book drop-offs where it's like a, a donation box where you can yes. you know, give a book, take a book. And yes. Like, and just, and I think that is the coolest yeah. thing in the world. We have them in our neighborhood too. The lady down the street does it. It's great. Every now and then I'll drop off like books that are Oakley or she's too big for now. I'll drop them off in there. Okay, right. so you would finish and add your little rectangle here. So look at all the rectangles for days. Oh. Now, watch this. This is super cool. All right, so when I'm doing this, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start here. And, Justin, can we get a really good shot of that? See right here where this meets up with this point here on the roof? That's exactly how I want it to look, okay? Otherwise your roof section is gonna be a little off and you don't want that, okay? So I'm gonna pin it here and then I'm gonna pin it here. And you notice that all my rows are lining up because I sewed that quarter inch seam. Strip dies are a great way to use to sew quarter inch seams. <gasps> all right, so now I sew this. Don't forget to join us on Tuesday, September 21st. Can you believe it is almost the end of September. Um, we're gonna have a live event 12 noon central time. We're gonna really launch the sports medley die. We have some really fun projects. And what do they wanna register, Miss Emily? So that they can win all those fun prizes. Yep, we just we give away so much fun stuff. Random winners, mm -hmm. random winners from all the registrants. <laughs> Listen. Eric and I know because we really, there's days we want fabric that I'm just like, really? We're going to give this away? <laughs> Pam, you're going to love this. Okay. Carol has a great idea to create scary houses and put ghosts in the windows using glow in the dark thread. Are yes. you kidding? No, it's a, it's a real thing. Oh I have glow in the dark fabric that I was going to use for my ghosts. Okay. And I was going to totally put them in the window and have one coming out of the roof. 
I know. I just need to know if the, all of them need to be different or the same. I love this. Okay, so now look at this, quilters. See how my rooftop came together? And it came together perfectly because I lined up these seams right here and I lined up this seam right here. Okay, that's what you're looking for. That's why AccuQuilt is all perfect like that. Okay, so I'm gonna press it because it looks super cute. Yeah, no, glow in the dark thread is a real thing. Yeah. Vicki says she would also do, so she would do like one block in the Halloween themed and then she would do a different house in each theme for the seasons as well. So you could do Valentine's Day house, you could do oh, Christmas house, like Christmas you could do house. all different I would just kinds. totally make an all Halloween houses. I'd then. agree. <laughs> and I'm making them all different out of my Halloween fabric. I am I can hardly wait to get home. Okay, all right, we're doing some stuff this afternoon. I gotta get going. Okay, so here we go. Now, to make the quilt behind me, you need a total of 12 finished Go School House blocks. Okay. If you do exactly what I did and chain piece all the 12 blocks, you can sew together all your schoolhouse in less than two hours because that's what I did, okay? Then you wanna layer the batting between the quilt top and the backing and then pin or base the layers together and quilt as desired. And don't forget binding to miter your corners, okay? Now the project behind us uses that three and a half inch strip die or it finishes to three inches to uh, for that outside borders which is part of the bundle okay and don't forget to share your finished projects with us on our AccuQuilt page you can also share it on other social media what's the hashtag they want to use AccuQuilt built AccuQuilt built we would love to see what you've made okay so now we're not done yet because I have some really cool stuff to show you still okay so here is my schoolhouse Okay, and some of you are gonna say to me, Pam, this isn't gonna line up, but remember, we have that quarter inch seam. Okay, so it really is gonna look like this, and it's gonna be super cute. All right, so now here's some ideas. First of all, um, this, if you take this section out, this is, do you know how big this block is, Emily? Is it nine? It's a five inch block. The whole block itself finishes to nine inches. Okay, so it is a five inch finished block. Okay, so watch this. First up, I use the Ohio Star block. Now, these are shapes one and four from serendipity. Well, I'm, they're not one and four in serendipity. Serendipity cube is um, applique cube and there are two piece dies and the pieced dies make a five inch finished Ohio star block. Okay, so some of you are going, oh, Pam, that is super cool, but wait, there's more, okay? Then I created a nine inch, here I can move my pieces over here, Sorry, Joe and Justin. Okay, next I created a nine inch Ohio star block using my six inch cube. So same shapes, shape number one and shape number four. Do you know what shapes those are in the cube, Emily? Uh, a square and a- Square and a half square triangle. Quarter square triangle. Quarter square triangle. Yep. So typically the cube system's based on a four patch, right? But I used my six inch cube and I created a three by three grid, right? Or a nine patch, and now it finishes to nine inches. Love that. So I could make a nine inch block for my six inch cube and this cute little star block. So Emily, give us a little pricing. How much is the serendipity right now with the whole My25 discount? Yeah, with that My25, it's gonna be $167.99. It's normally $279. Okay, and it has, um, applique shapes and embroidery files, and they're such a cute block. Mm -hmm. And then that six inch cube is how much today? Because it's on sale as well. Yep, 137.99. 137.99, mm -hmm. okay. So think about maybe you wanna get your cube and your companion sets for that six inch cube. We've been out of stock in those six inch cubes for a minute. So Ooh, now is a great time to stock up on the cube and companion sets, mm -hmm. okay? So you can make this, because. This, of all the blocks, this was my favorite. Okay, so do you remember what we talked about last week? 
I know. You mean the log cabin? Yes. Yeah, we've absolutely. Slept since then. <laughs> absolutely. I'm going, wait a second, what did we do? <laughs> okay, so now remember last week how I told you you could make any size block from one inches to twelve inches. Well, here is a five inch courthouse steps, because that's my favorite pattern. Um, to match the five inch block of our schoolhouse. So remember we talked about that last week. So you need shapes one, three, and this is three, and then you only need two of shape five to make that five inch block. Isn't that so cute? So fun. So how much is our log cabin today with that special? Because I think it's like 40% off. Yeah, it's only $71.99 today. $71.99. So if you got the log cabin and the six inch cube, it would ship free. Yep, free within the contiguous U.S. If you live in the U.S., okay? All right, so this was this, all right, which is also my second favorite block. <laughs> and then the last block is, you ready? So the four inch cube, this is... Um, a four patch from the four inch cube. If you got today's bundle, it has that one and a half inch strip die that finishes to one inch. So you could use any of the blocks from the four inch cube, so long as it was a four patch, and add those strips on the outside to create the schoolhouse block. Okay, so think about that. Four inch cube has also kind of been out of stock for a minute, right? Yeah. And it's back in stock. So we have a bundle for the cube system. What is it? Yep, the four inch bundle. It's usually 529, but it's marked down to 509 today. Yeah, and it will ship to you free. And that includes the four inch cube and the companion corners and angles. It sure does. All right, in a few weeks, we're going to do a whole show about the four inch cube. I'm really excited about it. Okay, so these were different ways to think outside the box, right, with your block. So I have one more fun thing to show you. Oh, here, I can move this so I don't drop it. Emily, tell us real quick, what are people liking from school? Let's see. Well. Favorite subjects in school? Favorite subjects in school. I've got a lot of Halloween comments. <laughs> I've got a lot of, um, let's see. After I, after, you should know, Quilters, every Wednesday after the show, I go home and watch it. Um, I take notes on like things I need to do better and those kind of things. And I love to read all your comments, so I'm super excited to read the Halloween comments. Angela says that her son loves Norse mythology. We were talking about that oh, a yes. bit earlier. And both of the her children got their last name. They had it translated into Viking runes, and they got tattoos on their necks. They're oh, don't tell Taylor. Don't I have a kid, Taylor, Taylor who would love <laughs> all of that. Okay, we need to translate our name into Viking. That's pretty cool. Loving it. Okay, so finally, this is a really fun project that the lovely Erica created. Um, it's just a fun table runner. She hasn't finished it yet. It's just some inspiration. So here is that center block, right? Mm -hmm. And then she used um, the sashing. This is the two strip dies that come in the bundle. So this is one inch sashing and one inch border around it and then that three inch finish border around it. Now she used our nine inch cube, which would be the same price as the six inch cube, which was how much? 137.99. 137.99, okay. So um, she used shape number one to make a simple four patch. But think outside the box quilters, right? You could make some fun star blocks for the corner. You could put one here in the center and then you could do other like pinwheel blocks on the outside. Really fun ideas. The thing that I love about the schoolhouse block is that it's such a traditional block, but it finishes to nine inches, so you can use our cubes and our strip dies and other cubes to help make fun projects. I love that. Okay? All right, don't forget today, only 25% off your order, 40% on some already marked down dies, cubes, and bundles. So what else did we finish? We, what did we miss to talk about? Did we talk about all the things? Well, I believe so, okay. yeah. I mean, you've, you've been invited over to June's house to help with paper piecing and pineapples, so you're, you're getting all sorts of invites. Totally for coming, June. <laughs> totally coming, all right? And don't forget, if you're looking for a standalone cube that has applique shapes and the two dies needed to make that small Ohio star, the Go Serendipity Cube today is $56 off, a sale price of $167.99. All right, now, it is Wednesday. And normally you don't see me again till Tuesday and then Wednesday again. But tomorrow, tomorrow night is not only my Mason's happy birthday, but tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Central Time, we are having a special 
after hours live event. I'm so excited. We are gonna continue our behind the scenes tour of the International Quilt Museum. Now back in July, we went on this great tour there and we got all, saw all of these great quilts. So the lovely Eric and I will be online to answer your questions and interact with our viewers. We're gonna be wearing our jammas and eating dessert, but we're gonna see all this really fun behind the scenes footage that you've never ever seen before. And do you think we might have a deal for them? Oh, I'm sure there will be a deal. Oh yeah. I think there might be a deal. So you wanna register in the link below so that you can join us after dark. I think we should drink, eat dark chocolate. I, I think so too. I'm definitely gonna be tuning in from my home with my own jammies. I on. think it'll be so much fun. <laughs> All right, Emily, did you, we have a uh, winner for our Go School House Die? We surely do. Can I get a drum roll please? The winner is Barbara Sacra from Virginia. Congratulations, Barbara. Okay, we want to see your finished schoolhouse blocks. What, are you gonna do them red and white? Are you gonna do them Halloween? <laughs> I, I'm already thinking about it. You could do Christmas ones, and we have tons of like holiday medley that have Christmas trees and sleighs. You could do, okay, let's just brainstorm for 10 seconds here. A log cabin in the woods. <gasps> So you could totally get fabric that looks like woods fabric, like log cabin, and use the Northwoods medley that have the trees. Yeah. You could use our gnome die, and he could be the little Northwoods gnome in the, oh, he's a good Northwood gnome. A good Northwood gnome. Good Northwood gnome in the woods. <laughs> Okay, all sorts of things you can make from the log cabin. All right, be sure and join Emily and I next week for Aki Quilt Live as we are gonna show you how to cut and sew the brand new Go Feather Star dye that we just released yesterday. Emily, did you have a favorite weather vane Feather Star? Did you have a favorite? I can't wait for both of them, to be honest. I think Feather Star looks like really, really modern and funky. Right. And then the, I mean, they're just, they're my two new favorite bobs for sure. And the Feather Star has Y seams and next week we're gonna talk all about about why seams. Yes, please. And how we're gonna sew them together because Emily's like, ooh, I'm new to quilting, right? Yep. What is a Y seam? All right. <laughs> sure enjoy this. Okay, on behalf of our entire AccuQuilt Live team, we have Leslie and Morgan off site. We have Nick upstairs. We have Brock and Joe and Justin here in the studio. And a good my good friend Emily is here as well. I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuilt we help you cut time so you can quote more. See you tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Central Time. Thank you.